With a Rabona, it's a bit of an awkward move because we have to cross our legs, make sure we get good contact with the ball and make sure the pass goes where we need it to. The most important part is making sure we have enough distance from our standing leg to the ball so we can wrap our leg round and get a good connection with it. When we're looking to make contact with the ball, it's going to be with the outside slash the front of your foot and we just want to get slightly underneath the ball. Now it's easy to assume that we're just going to throw our leg behind us and generate as much power as we can. That's the last thing we want. We want to get a good distance, wrap our leg around and just make contact. We don't need to follow through because you'll just lose balance by kicking your back leg. Instead of following through with our back leg, it's important we just find a good distance, not too far or too close, but enough about 30 centimetres to wrap your leg around the ball, keep your balance and simply make contact with the ball. It's very difficult to generate power from a static ball. So I'm going to pass it against the wall and as it's on the way back, we're going to find the right distance so we can wrap our leg round and just connect. We're not following through, just to connect with it and it's going to generate a lot more power. To set up the fake Rabona, we just want to give the ball at least two or three yards in front of us. That way, we can approach it with our left foot, getting just in front of the ball. So then we can wrap our behind leg, lift over, and then we stop the ball and then change direction. So to get the fundamentals, we're just going to roll it to our side, make sure our left foot is in front, round, over, and then go. When doing the hop, it's going to be off our left leg. So our left leg is going to lift for our right leg to go round and create the barrier. And then this left leg is going to go round it like a step over. And at this point, the ball is either dead or you can continue in a different direction. Now, a good way to practice the movement getting around the ball is to just have the ball dead, left foot just in front of the ball. And we're gonna hop around, create the barrier. Same with the other foot. Now I'm hopping off my right, going round and same again. Just consistently going round to create the barrier. So now we can incorporate a nice roll just slowly to find that distance, hop and then change direction. To add it all together, we're going to roll it across our body, left in front, around and go. Now for the first part, we're just going to roll the ball across us. Then this left foot is going to go round and that's where we have the space for the Rabona. Now it's vital that we're comfortable with the first bit because the quicker we roll it and go round, the more power we can generate as we create a barrier for the Rabona. Now to practice on getting that good connection, we're simply just going to do a roll, round and just catch. Just so we find our bearings with how we want to connect with it. Now once we're comfortable with rolling it, getting around to catch it, we're now going to do the same but commit to a pass. Now as we approach the Rabona, we want to make sure it's sharp as we create the barrier. That way you're going to get more power. Now remember, the power isn't generated from the force of us following through. The power is created from the barrier that we make when we connect. Now with this variation, it's in between a Rabona and a Hocus Pocus because we're going across our body and then rather than going forward, we're going to go across and then catch it back to go in that direction. So to practice the fundamentals of the move, we're gonna go in front with our left leg, and then this back leg is just gonna knock it to my left. And then as it's moving, we're gonna create a barrier for it to go back out. Now to put the move all together, we're now gonna drag the ball behind us. And that's where we focus on getting round, getting control to bring it back out. So we're going to approach it slower with our left foot going in front again. And we're gonna drag it with the inside of our right, getting around it, right in the barrier to then shoot off in the other way. So for us to get comfortable with that, we're going to start with a drag and then focus on just getting the control on the other side. Then when we're all good with the control, once we're in this position here, we hop off this front leg to then take it in the other way. Now it's important we hop off the leg so we can generate power to then change direction. Mm -hmm. 